Good morning and welcome to BOTB HQ in Parsons Green, South West London. My name is Christian Williams, a presenter here at BOTB. And we're here this morning to uh, judge our dream car competition, which ran from the 28th of October to the 3rd of November 2019. Just before I hand over to Charlotte, once again, massive congratulations to the winner in the dream car competition last week. Glyn Cotton winning a brand new Porsche 911 and £20,000 in cash. I'm now going to hand over to Charlotte Houston from Onside Law, who will oversee the proceedings this morning. Good morning, my name is Charlotte Houston from Onside Law and I'll be overseeing the judging this morning. Firstly, I can confirm that the competition data has already been sent to the auditors Wilkins Kennedy. I would now like to introduce today's judges and ask them to pick a ball out of the hat to determine their seating position. Kieran. Morning. Morning Charlotte. Hello, my, my name is Kieran Fitzgibbon, I'm a footballer, referee and referee secretary. And I've got number six. Thank you very much. Andy. Good morning, Charlotte. Good morning. Good morning. My name is Andy Braithwaite. I'm a football referee, mentor, and licensed observer. Number five. Thank you. Leo. Good morning, Charlotte. Good morning. Hello, my name is Leo Donnellan. I'm an ex-professional football player, having been with Chelsea, Fulham, and late in the Number three. Thank you very much. Matt. Good morning, Charlotte. Good morning. Good morning. My name is Matt Cannon. I'm a senior county referee and footballer. I last played yesterday, and I'm last. I'm refereeing tonight. Number two. Thank you very much. Trevor. Good morning, Charlotte. Good morning, I'm Trevor Weaver. I've been refereeing for over 30 years. I also mentor and I'm also an observer. And I have number one. Thank you very much. And Peter. Good morning. Well, my name is Peter Georgia. I'm a football and football referee. The last one is number four. Okay, judges, please mark on the screen where you think the centre of the ball should be. I'll ask you to do this individually for a few minutes before justifying your position. I'll then ask you to come to a panel decision on the central screen. Okay, judges, if now, you could now please individually justify the position of your cross on the screen, starting with Matt. Yeah, mine's the red cross here. Um, two players in shot. I think the ball's coming over the top of the player in blue who's looking up. He's sort of maybe you know, overcooked himself. This player, I think, is, is coming straight at the ball. Uh, and I've cross-referenced their eye lines and I've got the centre of the ball where my red cross is. Thank you very much. Andy. Thanks, Charlotte. I'm the green cross here. As, well, obviously slightly higher um, as we're looking than we draw my colleagues. The fellow in blue, I think, is going to attempt an overhead kick. Uh, the way that his body, body shape is, um, I've literally taken a line, because we're trying to do this uh, manoeuvre, um, literally perpendicular line straight through. Uh, that's why I've taken this angle. The fella here in uh, orange red, um, his eyebrows are looking fairly steep in my opinion. Um, that's why I've taken this line along here and I've placed a centre of my ball there. Thank you very much. Kieran. Right, the man's the blue cross here. Um, I think, agree with my colleagues, the ball looks like it's going above the head of the player in blue. Um, I think actually he's going to go backwards to try and head the ball. The player in orange is moving forwards towards the ball. He realises he's got a chance of heading the ball. Um, I've taken the eye lines from both of them and that's why I've placed my blue cross there. Thank you very much. Trevor? Yes, mine is the orange cross here, slightly lower than my colleagues. Um, agree really with what Kieran has just said. I believe this ball will pass um, over the blue player's head um, and the orange player in orange will be coming in to challenge for that. Um, and so taking their eye lines, I decide centre of the ball will be there. Thank you very much. Leo. Yeah, mine is the grey cross. There's two players in shot. Uh, I think if you look at this player's eye, I think he's, he's looking directly up. I've got the ball a little bit sort of in front of him because I believe the ball's travelling in that direction. I think if you look at the player in orange, his eye line for me, is, he's looking across. I think they're both going to challenge for the ball. I think the player in blue is going to adjust his position. I think he's going to try and hit the ball and move backwards. So, as I said, I think the ball's going that way. So, looking at his eye line and his eye line, that's why I've gone there. Thank you very much. And Peter. Yeah, mine's the uh, double cross there. Uh, in agreement with uh, Lehigh and Matt, the, with the ball coming over and the, the play here, uh, going to retreat backwards uh, to uh, possibly hit the ball. Uh, so, with the, his eye line, we're all in the same trajectory there. It's just using this guy here, how far it is going to be away from this guy's head. So uh, I've um, cross-referenced the centre of the ball to be there. 
Thank you very much. Okay, judges, please now come to a panel decision on the central screen. For your information, the larger white cross is a calculated average of the six individual selections. All right, so look, guys, uh, obviously where the white cross is at the moment is in the middle of the five of use cluster. Uh, even looking like that, we're not that far apart, although I'm slightly higher up. Just put a couple of lines in first to have a so look at how, how wide we are. You're the highest there, and okay. yeah. so, but I think Which is, it's, not, it's, it's probably true, yeah. it could be there as well. I just think if you, if you put on his eye, it's really where he's looking. Yeah, <coughs> so I didn't think he was looking that high personally. Yeah, his but head's not tilted down mm -hmm. far. In my opinion, but it could be from the game. very much. The coordinates selected are 9, 9, 2 and 7, 8, 6. These coordinates will now be passed back to Wilkins Kennedy to calculate the winner of the competition and they will then inform BOTB. That concludes the judging process. Thank you. Thank you.